Okay, let's talk about toroidal and toroidal uh, fluxes. The definition of toroidal and toroidal fluxes is such. So it's basically the magnetic flux. But in the toroidal geometry, we kind of look at it in this way. So here is uh, here's a torus. Um, the this this plot is looking looking from the looking like this way. If there's a torus, you look in this way, then you have like like a cross section of the donut. And uh, this any any magnetic field go across this this uh, this surface is a is a psi t. And basically, it's the surface integral of the cap, which is the red section. And uh, if you look, look, look down of the of the donut, you will look like basically a cir circle on top of another circle. And uh, the 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 center of of this small circle here, the minor, and then the, from from the center to the the center of the minor ring, uh, like. The so minor radius is a is a major radius, and then this to this this center to the edge is a minor radius. So so it's a it's basically from center to the outer side. It's not a complete. It's, notice it's not a complete disk. It's the the half of it because otherwise you will get zero net. Yes. Um, so, so, so the, that's the definition, and the, 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 this is this is definition in terms of the surface integral, and uh, we can also write it in terms of the volume integral, which we will use in the future. So, uh, so if we if we make an enclosed surface, because we want to use the Gauss theorem, so we have two two surfaces. One is uh, is theta equal to zero. Another is theta equal to two pi. It's like this. So this, and then the the whole thing, the whole volume is enclosed, enclosed like volume. So the whole torus, the volume of the torus, is the is what we want to have. And uh, so if we construct this, since this doesn't have doesn't in, get into the surface integral. Then, then this will be zero because the disk when theta equal to zero, then this will become zero because anything more about zero is zero. Uh, and then this is two pi, then basically this equals to two pi psi psi p, which is the definition, pretty much the definition. And if we impose the Gaussian zero, and basically we try to get the gradient of the whole thing, and uh, uh, integrated within the whole, whole whole volume of the donut, and the derivative derivative doesn't act on this. If we act on both of it, so, uh, 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 on those two variables, we can we, we know that from us uh, the black identity, it can be become it can be expressed in this way, and uh, we know that uh, the the graph B is zero, then we're left with this. So we write it, write the whole thing up in terms of this. This become one based on the definition of n n half. Then we have uh, so we have uh, uh, we have another uh, way of expressing uh, the toroidal and toroidal fluxes in terms of volume integral. So we got this. The psi t is uh, is this, it's the same idea. Uh, you can you can try it yourself. Pretty much instead of uh, instead of this being theta, this become uh, this become theta. So like this. So same idea, same principle. Uh, so you will get the, the second second equation.